Welcome everyone. I have a special announcement to make today. Nowhere but in Division Three Athletics does a former basketball player decide to make the lead gift which enables the reinstatement of football after 61 years and to be the second school in Texas to launch women's varsity lacrosse. But as Joe Sieber told the Board of Trustees last week, his gift is not about football. His gift is about transforming lives. I know of no alumna or alumnus besides Joe Sieber who has a deeper love and greater appreciation for this transformational experience Southwestern provided him and who wants that legacy to continue for others. Now if you don't know him, take the opportunity to meet him and to hear firsthand his commitment to ensuring the Southwestern experience that brings us together for homecoming each year. With me today is Chairman of Southwestern's Board of Trustees, Merriman Morton, class of 1963, and Joe's roommate at Southwestern. Merriman? Also with us today is Southwestern's Vice President for Student Life, Jerry Brody. Jerry, right here. And by the way, everyone, Jerry had the idea to start our pirate bike program. Yay. Also with us today is Associate Vice President and Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, Dr. Gleda Munt. Thanks, Gleda. Joe requested that several special people join him for today's celebration. His wife, Elaine. And the, and the two people, Joe says, were instrumental in bringing him to Southwestern. James Ulrich, class of 1961. and Coach Myron Dees, class of 1953, and head basketball coach when Joe was a student athlete. Unfortunately, Myron could not be with us today. Well, without further delay, it is time for us to salute Southwestern alumna, alumnus from the class of 1963, former president of the Association of Southwestern University Alumni, and number one Pirate fan, Joe Sieber. Joe, thank you, and ARG. Um, is Joey Kane around? Joey was supposed to help me. <laughs> okay. Um, if, if this talk lasts more than two minutes, um, I'll get run over. Um, <clears throat> the gift helps us start football. Um, I spent two years traveling around the nation talking to alumni and asking them to tell me about their Southwestern experience. And my motivation is those stories. You know, Southwestern, Southwestern's motto is engaging minds and transforming lives. Well, Southwestern really is about transforming lives. I heard the stories. It's not just a slogan, it's truth. And my gift is about preserving that. And it did that for me and hundreds, thousands of others. Even after this gift, I am indebted to Southwestern. I didn't mention this before, but there is one condition to the gift. And that is, collectively, we have to give an R <laughs> that will be heard in Round Rock. <laughs> so on three, I want everyone to join in a very loud and hearty R. One, two, three. 
two, three. Thank you. Joe. Joe, you have given much to your alma mater. You were the exemplary first president when Southwestern's Alumni Association was reconstituted and the Association of Southwestern University Alumni was formed. Now you're the first to help enable the university to reinstate football and to launch women's varsity lacrosse. To show our appreciation, we are pleased and excited to present you with our new football program's first pirate jersey sporting Seabur and number one. Now, uh, before we uh, celebrate by uh, joining the picnic, and I hope all of you are going to join us at the picnic, we're going to sing the Pirate Fight Song. Not, not the new Pirate Fight Song, the one that we've always been singing at Southwestern, but the last 50 years, people have forgotten it. So if you know it, sing along with me, and if you don't, I guess I'll be singing a solo. Pirates fight for old Southwestern, for our alma mater dear. Pirates fight for old Southwestern, till victory is near. To Southwestern we'll be loyal, till the sun falls from the sky. Remembering until the end, pirates fight. Never die. Thank you very much.